Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh, no, our shot glasses are not available yet. That's late May, early June. So uh, the Nerds Drink Whiskey shot glasses are coming. They're not here yet. We know, we know you're excited to order them. All, you know, 100 or 50 of our viewers. Um, so uh, we're going, uh, as usual, to my side is uh, the great Jeff Morris. How are you doing, Jeff? Pretty good. I, uh... This is uh, Monarch of the Glen, which is something from my cabinet this week, and uh, see what you guys think. So, cool. So it's another Scotch. Uh, yeah. you know, Tracy brought uh, a Scotch a couple weeks ago, uh, so this is. Uh, uh, I don't know. We're really heavy on the Scotch this week, so uh, all, all you Scotch people out there, you know, I'm looking at you, Ed and and Terry, and you know, and all the rest of you, um, but. Uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're heavy on the scotch, so we're, we're reviewing scotch, so quit your bitching. So, uh, Tracy uh, from uh, Seesaw, uh, Capital Scotch and Whiskey. Yep. Uh, so, uh, you've already tried uh, Monarch Glen? Have yeah, tried? I've, I've tried it once, and I'm, I'm going to see if I can remember it. Uh, definitely in the affordable category. But yeah. I don't remember frowning at it either, so it's probably pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's the one thing about whiskey is, is uh, I actually had somebody ask me one time. They were like, "Well, why did you specialize in just whiskey? What happens when you drink when you tried all the whiskeys out there?" Yeah. And I didn't know how to answer that. I was just like, um, "How old do you think I'm going to be? How, how old do you think I'm going to live to?" I, yeah. So, uh, anyways, this is a uh, Monarch Glen blended Scotch whiskey. You can. It's good. I like it. Um, you can definitely tell that uh, that's a more expensive bottle, um, but time. it's still better than uh, the worst scotch that I've ever tried. <laughs> this is this is this is the worst scotch I've ever tried. It's drinkable. Uh, always have it on the rocks. This one, I think you can actually have neat. Um, which Mark, is I, I served that one in a decanter. De in a yeah, decanter? at a Christmas party. Yeah, I mean, my some of my friends come over. They always think the good stuff is in the decanter, and without knowing, they actually still like it, which is the fun part. Oh, okay. And uh, mm -hmm. but no, this one is a, a real good caramel pear, a uh, little bit of toffee, and just a wee bit of peat. Did you notice? Uh, oh, there's yeah. I definitely get the the peaty flavor out of that. Yeah, um, it's not pro prominent. It's not gonna scare you off, but it's nice that they included it. Yeah, and uh, I've had a couple of really peaty scotches, and it's not my thing, but I I like this one. It's got just enough to, it's like um, you know, people like some people don't like IPAs because they're bitter and hoppy, but <laughs> yeah, like this guy. Uh, but there's some IPA or you know there's some hops that you want in there to, right. and so that's there's just enough peat in here for it to give you the. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. See, see now I'm a teamster, and and I think it's illegal for teamsters to to, to like IPAs. I think we, we we you know, it's just it's just a little bit too uh, Portlandia. Well, and it's it goes back to the um, East India Company. That's there. They had the horrible uh, work practices, and you can't be a teamster and see, like something that the go. East India Company I, I like founded. It. There's there's the reason. So mm -hmm. now, uh, last episode we were talking a little bit about uh, the the language of whiskey. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I'm going to admit I have absolutely no clue what this guy is talking about when he talks about something being peed. Okay. Think of uh, the smell of a Band-Aid. Think of the, the smell, smell of a Band-Aid? The smell of a Band-Aid, yeah. Is that, mm -hmm. You don't want me to pair that with something pleasant? <laughs> or better yet, if you if, if you had an old leather bag that had been around a while and mm -hmm. you open it up and it hadn't been oiled for a while, that's what it smells like. That's so, some of the taste elements of peat. Old leather, Band-Aid, medicinal, yeah, real... range. Because you know what peat is. It's uh, like swamp grass compressed swamp grass that they burn right to dry out the grain before it goes into the, the yeah, it's, mash okay. yeah it's, okay. it's it's burnable and used to smoke the the grain and so that imparts a specific flavor and there's some scotch which that's all you taste and there's some scotch like this one which it's kind of there yeah. but it's not going to kill you by drinking it so yeah. okay. it's, it, you know i mean in bourbon we, we fire the barrels right 
and so you get some charcoal. That's a right. different element. You know, you get smoky and peaty are two different things. People mistake them, right? You get that nice charcoal, that burnt meat or that burnt mm -hmm. apple type of taste, depending on, but it's still got that carbon to it. That's not peat. Peat is again that leathery medicinal type of, of taste. And it's, in this, it's you know not pronounced. This is overwhelmingly uh, caramel and it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not, and, and, and I don't mind it because it's it's easy to drink. It's not complex though. It's not yeah. balanced. It's easy drinking scotch, and it's yeah. it is a step up from what I put in my decanter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless and, you're trying to mess with people's heads, which yeah. is always fun. I never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, uh, so Monarch of the Glen, I picked it up at Total Wine and More, like everything else we buy around here. Uh, yeah, and they yeah, did have. We paying for our whiskey Total Wine. We plugged yeah. it enough. Uh, they did have a number of ages available. Um, so I went with the 12 year rather than the 8 or 6 or 15. Um, so it, babe, yeah. it tastes better. It doesn't have as much of the rubber mm -hmm. that you have in the, the, the Trader Joe's that you showed everybody. And that's what, you get two things when you age stuff. And by the way, with the blend, it's the age of the youngest whiskey. So they may have cheated. They may have like a Strathalyssa 18 as a part of the blend. They use a lot of that for mm -hmm. the pee. But when, when you look at uh, the effect of aging, it can be not necessarily, yeah, smoother, but it, it, that, that mechanical taste, you know, that industrial taste that sometimes whiskey has is usually removed by a little more time in the barrels. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and then this, as you notice, that one would say it has legs. That's not so much, but it has good mouthfeel. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. that stringent at the end. It doesn't pucker you up. Right, right, right. right. Give, so give me what I call whiskey face. Right. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I would say. Uh, now, now, how much did you say this was? Uh, upper twenties, lower thirties. Okay, so it's still a very reasonable. Oh yeah, price no price privilege. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Probably out? lower end for scotch, out but 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 still. Yeah, it was bad. lower thirties out the door. Yeah, that isn't bad. And uh, so I will say, I did go looking for a bottle of banknote um, scotch, which I had in a drink at a local um, restaurant. Except somewhere along the line, they stopped carrying it in Washington, probably because we have three tier distiller, you know, uh, distribution. Someone along the line. Banknote? Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. I'm going to go oh, buy a bottle. Go on the website to find out what people so, have. Uh, <laughs> but, cause, yeah. The shelves are never going to tell you. Well, uh, the guy the there guy. looked him up, and there was no banknote in any of the shell, any any total wine in the state okay. at the time I went to buy at it. At the time, yeah. Yeah. So it, apparently it's back. I'll have to go find some. So. Cool. All right. Anybody got any final words before we uh, Well, bl it? blended scotches are good scotches. That's how I got started nearly. 30 years ago. Don't uh, so you say if, if somebody's going to start trying scotch, blended is the way to go? Uh, that's how I started. I think okay. that uh, you go with a space side single malt and you'll be safe too. Okay. All right. So uh, anyways, uh, check out uh, the links to, to his website for uh, Seesaw. And uh, we will see you next week for another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey. Yeehaw.